Well, first of all, you could employ a consultant to give you some guidance, although I would say this <laughs> as a consultant. Uh, you could also employ a university to give you some, some help, assistance. The key point is to start looking at the general class of substance that you have, whether it be an organic, inorganic, uh, oligomeric material. Try to get the basic idea of the substance and then tailor an appropriate analytics package involving the correct analytics techniques for that type of substance. And as I gave in the presentation earlier, the, the analytical techniques can vary depending on the type of substance that you, that you think you have. And then approach the analytics with full professionalism. Fully justify what you have, analyze properly, get a full identity package, only then do you really know what you have and can justify to the authorities also what you have. Universities can be good. Uh, there are a number of consulting companies available. Uh, you can also start discussions with your suppliers, uh, also with trade associations who operate on your behalf. Um, they can be a, a number of sources of help. Remember that many aspects of analytics are confidential, but trade associations often know how to uh, bring these together uh, in a non-confidential way. The lead registrant is available in many cases we'll have a substance identity profile. Uh, the CIF is also available, consortia are available. There are many places to start the discussions. There is plenty of ECHA guidance uh, available. Um, you can do a number of online searches and also I find very useful the uh, online databases. For example, uh, ChemSpider, um, SciFinder. These types of things can help you with uh, predictive tools for what your substance should look like within its spectral identity to give you some guidance if you're going in the correct direction or not. Very, very difficult question. Uh, a standard package with a fairly easy substance can take up to a month. However, uh, these labs tend to be very, very busy. It could easily take another month of lead-in time before it can start, plus also further time to fi finalise uh, reporting, particularly if you're using GLP, which is required if you're doing further testing. So you could be looking at a three-month package. However, availability of the time is a key component, and also, if anything goes wrong, I'm not thinking about tests going wrong, but more your substance is not what you think it was. Um, your substance is a more complex UVCB rather than a single substance. These can all add on time, including things like analytical development. For example, the substance may bind to the column of the HPLC uh, and require complete new uh, methodology. So start as early as possible. Uh, the three month advice is if you start now, uh, but it can be longer. Good quality testing. Reproducible quality testing and also uh, traceability. It's no good simply having a spectrum that you claim is taken from your manufacturer or for your import. You must be able to relate this back through your quality systems to uh, the batch numbers and the batch numbers of your suppliers so that it can go back through all of the stages of the, the manufacturing process. That to me is the, is the key point, full, full traceability in addition to the quality of the actual test that you do.